Hey, what's going on YouTube? So I got another Tacoma video. If you're familiar with what this is, this is a minimalist key fob from Miso Customs. Uh, I didn't pick it up from Miso because they didn't have the color that I wanted in stock, so I was able to pick it up from another site. Um, I really wanted to get the safety orange, but I couldn't find that one anywhere. And the next one that I was trying to find was the Inferno. Um, but unfortunately, when I got it, the Inferno is seems to be more of a red, closer to red than orange. Um, it's a little orange, and I'm going to deal with it for now, but uh, it's not as orange as I would like. I would rather have the safety orange or something that's closer to the paint on the truck. I did pay for this with my own money. It was not given to me, so keep that in mind. So first things first, we're going to open it up. And then we got our tin with some parts in it. We got some buttons, some screws, and the key ring pieces right here. And there's, this one's the bottle opener, this one's just a regular key ring. And I also picked up some red buttons directly from Miso because I think I'm gonna wanna have the red one as my panic button. So I don't carry very much on my key rings. I just have the fob for my truck, and then I have a key for the tonneau cover, and a key for the locks on my house. So as you can see, I don't have very much on here. So one of the reasons I wanted to replace this, uh, I have had to tow people because all they had was this, and they had lost this. They, I don't know if they took their keys out of their pocket for one thing or another, and this fell off because this key, you can see the notch in the tip of the key is only held in by like a little clip on the side of the fob. So it's possible that that could get depressed and then it's just, it's not even hanging on there. It could fall off or maybe it breaks or fails because it's just a spring and a plastic clip and then this thing's gone. You can get into your vehicle, but you can't start it. You have to have this in order to start it. So I have had to tow people because they've lost that before. So that was one of the reasons why I wanted to do this. And since I installed an electric lock on the tailgate, I didn't really need this key in order to lock the tailgate. And uh, as far as getting into the truck, I do plan on putting another key on here, but uh, I want to shrink it down to make it nice and small. So it'll, it'll be one that is like this so that I can at least unlock the door in case of a dead battery on the truck. So all we gotta do is take this key out. We, there's a little slot right here and this fits right in there. Or you can use a screwdriver if you'd prefer. <laughs> and just like that, it opens up. Okay, so the buttons are in there. Now we need to take the control board out of the original fob. Okay, so then we take this piece and we drop this guy right in here. And then we do need this piece again. Okay, so now we got the silicone cover on there. We can take this guy with the buttons and hopefully put them together without stuff falling all over the place. Okay, it was a little challenging to get snapped together, but now it's snapped together. And now we have to put in one of these guys and some screws. And I actually think that I'm gonna go with this guy not because I have any bottles to open, but just because I kind of like the looks of it and I kind of think it keeps it minimalist. Since this is a minimalist key fob, it makes sense to me. It will go in either way, so I guess that's just personal preference which way you want it. Okay, so now we got the screws in. Obviously, you don't have to go crazy tight because it is just plastic. Just snug it up. All right, so works just fine. Let's lock it. Cool. Okay, so in case you're curious on the size, here's the size difference. Lengthwise, I'd say they are pretty close. But width-wise, this one is definitely skinnier. Thickness, um, at the thickest point, 
This one's, uh, they're about the same. This one's just thicker. The, and the miso is just thicker on the corners, whereas this one kind of tapers, but at it's, its thickest point, they're probably about the same, but it also looks better. Um, but like I was saying, you won't have this key to take out of here anymore. Um, that may be a problem for some people. Okay, so this is how we're gonna solve the problem. This is what the key normally looks like and what it looks like after you cut off all of this plastic. This is what's underneath it. So once you remove all that, this is what you're left with. And uh, I'm either going to just round this out, maybe shrink this down possibly and just use the hole that's here, or I'm gonna cut it down even more and just drill a hole in the middle of here so I can have a nice small low profile key just in case the uh, like the battery on my truck is dead and I can't get inside of it um, because obviously you're gonna need to be able to get inside of it in order to jumpstart it. Um, it looks really good. I'm pretty happy with it. It does look a little bit more orange out here. Let's compare it to the truck. So in the box, it does look pretty red, but once you take it out of the box, um, to me, it looks a lot more orange. And when you hold it up against the truck, it actually doesn't look that far off. When I had it in the box, it, it looks pretty far off, but uh, now it actually looks pretty close and it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I like it. So I guess that does it for the minimalist key fob from Miso Customs in the color of Inferno. Be sure to check out Miso Customs. Uh, they have make a lot of things for the second gen and third gen Tacomas, as well as Forerunners, and uh, there might be some other vehicles in there as well. And uh, I will catch you on the next one.